All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five fastest killing assault rifles in Vanguard. That is definitely the question that everybody wants to know. And keep in mind, the stats that I'm about to show you today are the time to kills. So if you are not familiar with stats at all, that basically is literally what it is. How fast can this gun kill an enemy? So we're going to be taking a look at what are going to be the top five assault rifles. That way you could get yourself set up and start leveling up that specific assault rifle just based on these stats. And also keep in mind that these stats are are just the basic stats so you know we're all still in the process of leveling up our weapons and there are quite a bit of attachments as well so it wouldn't really help you too much if i were to suggest certain attachments that you are far from unlocking anyway and i'm not really the type to just give you guys random class setups so once so once i finally do level up the weapon to its fullest potential and also take a look at all the individual attachments and see which one fits best i'm definitely going to be making updated videos but for now the main whole purpose of this video is to show you guys which by stat is actually the fastest killing assault rifle in vanguard right now so if you guys do enjoy the content a like is definitely appreciated and make sure to subscribe to make your way back to the channel join turbo nation today make it official and let's get on with the video all right so the main idea behind a ttk spreadsheet and just seeing it all visually in front of your face is so that we can determine which guns obviously kill the fastest and at what ranges so that's also going to tell the story of the gun specific weaknesses its strengths how it should be used and we're gonna break all that down right now so here we have all of our assault rifles that are available in vanguard so we got the as44 the stg44 the volk automaton e burst nz41 and the bar so here with the fastest ttk overall this is the base stats also by the way i just want to clarify is the as44 at 195 milliseconds up to that 34 meter range so i personally use the as44 haven't maxed it out yet but i just gave it a try because of the stats that it was showing me and uh, dude this thing is an absolute beast of a monster definitely going to melt your opponents obviously i mean it's ttk is significantly faster than the rest of the assault rifles in the game now the one thing that it does have a weakness for is its recoil control it's got an extremely high fire rate so you really do have to keep your engagements up close and personal as much as you possibly can hence why it has the shortest or one of the shortest damage ranges for assault rifles at the fastest time to kill so it just makes a little sense that it is a little bit more balanced here and that is what sledgehammer is going for obviously so next up we do have the nz41 at 240 milliseconds now this is another really awesome assault rifle went ahead and also had to try this out it's extremely dangerous on das house basically it's a playlist where uh, you're just playing das house that's 24 7 and it's a very small to maybe medium size range map as far as your lines of sight go now the reason why it's super 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 effective on that map or you know smaller maps just in general is because of its damage range it goes all the way out to 50 meters at that 240 millisecond time to kill now previously it was the as44 at 195 but then its second damage range it becomes a 260 millisecond time to kill so at up to that 50 range it's 240 millisecond time to kill this is absolutely amazing and why it is a melt machine on small to medium sized maps but obviously if you're gonna play on a really really tiny map and your engagements are very very small then the as44 is going to be your cup of tea all right so now moving on next so here it's a little covered here it's the it's the volk okay so, so it's the volk and it has the same exact ttk as the nz41 at 240 milliseconds now obviously it's not going to be as great as the nz41 because its damage range starts off at 29 and then it becomes a 320 millisecond time to kill so i definitely would not you know prefer to use the volk in this situation because you're limited to what kind of gun fights and uh it just goes to say that this is what is going to tell you how to use the gun is that after that 30 meter range you're really only going to be playing at longer ranges with this type of gun and the ttk is actually really not that bad at longer ranges when you compare it to the other assault rifles but as far as faster pace up close and personal stuff i definitely would not recommend the volk all right, up next, we have the Automaton. Now, this is a very interesting assault rifle. And as you can see, there is no damage range drop off. It's literally straight up. 
288 millisecond time to kill all throughout so i'm not really sure if this was intended or this is just like a little bug that you know slipped through the cracks or whatever i mean the game literally just released about a few days ago so there are going to be some broken things within the game so just relax you know this will get resolved it's just going to take some time but either way the automaton yeah i've also given it a try it's a pretty solid class setup in my opinion and it's got very stable recoil control so this kind of reminds me of the krig from cold war because it's great at long ranges except for this is just the krig on steroids because the ttk was definitely faster than the krig ever was and uh you know the automaton solid assault rifle especially at longer ranges and the fact that you can control the recoil a lot better it's obviously going to be a lot more enjoyable for you to use and it's probably going to be the most practical type of weapon for most casual players since again the recoil is really not too difficult to control and that also allows for a lot more uh wide range of setups you know you don't really have to focus too much on recoil control you can also focus on speed aim down sight etc etc so like i said a lot of these assault rifles and these stats are going to tell a story of how it should be used strengths weaknesses etc so that's just an example right there all right next up we have the bar so the bar and the stg44 actually have the same ttk of 300 millisecond time to kill only difference is that the stg its drop off is here at 51 meters and after that it becomes a 400 millisecond time to kill but don't be fooled you know the stg is still a really great assault rifle to use regardless of what the stats here say on paper and also if you guys haven't seen my video on the stg44 i show you guys how to transform it into a faster killing assault rifle so uh like i said just want to reiterate one more time that this is just a really basic stat video of all the base stats there are attachments that will manipulate the gun's time to kill and you know the, that's going to account for the fire rate and the damage of course as well but for the sake of people just literally getting the game and leveling things up let's just take it one step at a time and also i still need to level up stuff as well but yeah anyways back to the video so the bar is going to go up to that 64 meter range so the range on the bar is actually really really good but like i said why would you use the bar when you have a faster ttk with the automation that literally has no damage range drop off so it was really good in the beta but uh, obviously there have been some changes made that make it less inviting to use but i still like the stg44 after that class setup so make sure to check that video out it's pretty worthwhile all right so next up we do have the itra burst so the itra burst has a 306 millisecond time to kill and its damage range drop off is at 65 and then it becomes a 408 so clearly most of these assault rifles are going to be more effective from close to medium range you just really have to be a mindful of that and also how the gun performs because like i said just because the as44 has a really fast ttk as well as the nz41 you're gonna realize once you start using them that they have pretty insane recoil so you're gonna have to outfit your class setups to be able to control the recoil as much as possible all right if i were to just cap this off and recommend only one assault rifle for your all-purpose type of needs you know this is a no-brainer we're gonna go with the automaton because you know if you take a look at the automaton like it has no weaknesses at all kinds of ranges whereas yes this has a really fast ttk up to 34 meters but you know what happens after that it becomes a 260 millisecond time to kill yes that's still faster than automaton but like i said there's a practical sense that you have to formulate here as well besides what you see on paper because when you're using this as44 you're gonna be like damn i can't even compete at 60 whatever meters because it has pretty insane recoil so it becomes kind of useless at that point so that's where a gun like the automaton is going to step in because it has very good recoil control and its ttk is pretty decent as well so yeah guys this is just an introductory video just talking about all the assault rifles in the game and how i would rank it and my rationale behind my rankings as well you know besides the the stats that we see here on paper all right so now i'm going to show you guys a couple recommendations for some of the assault rifles that I was able to use so hopefully you guys do enjoy it all right welcome back to the gunsmith so we're gonna go over these attachments pretty quickly here as you know there are so many attachments this year in Vanguard and by the way these are just general class recommendations that are subject to change because over time obviously as time goes on the meta is always gonna change and obviously we're still just beginning here with Vanguard so this is just what I'm currently using right now and it could change you know maybe someone might suggest something I'll try it out I'll be like okay uh, I like it 
we'll go ahead and change it so uh here's the stg 44 class setup we got the recoil booster the crowns 220 rapid the slight reflector vdd 34s weighted the focus fully loaded fabric grip 7.6 garanko 30 round lengthened and the hand stop now as far as my secondary and the perks and all this stuff it's all going to be the same for the most part this is just personal preference you can use whatever you want to for the secondary but i like running with ghost forward intel and scavenger if you don't have scavenger yet you can run tactician tactician is great and then you can use that in sync with your stim shot and then for the lethal if you don't have demolition charge you can change that to the gammon bomb absolutely pretty solid setup and that's going to be the same thing moving forward all right next up we got the as44 absolute beast up close we got the recoil booster the zach 650 millimeter precision slate reflector zach 12b custom a sleight of hand fully loaded pine tar grip 30 russian short 60 round mag lengthen smle pistol grip oh my goodness i could barely read all these attachments man uh but yeah by the way guys i'm gonna have individual videos in the future for these videos so don't think that i'm just rushing through it it's just for the sake of keeping this video short and sweet uh like i said there's a lot of attachments this year but this is just a general overview all right so next up we got the itra burst so we got the recoil booster we got the hand stop here the, we got the perfetto 140 millimeter rapida and we got the uh, british 32 rounds lengthened we got stippled grip focus fully loaded perfetto padded grip and you guys can just you know take a screenshot or you know skip through the video if you want to um oh man you can't even see the oh boy i have to put it there then i guess well, hopefully that helps uh, you guys be able to see. I'm going to have to put my face cam there. All right, uh, moving on here. So we got the automaton. We got the recoil booster, carver grip, Sakura 75 rounds, lengthened, stippled grip, slide of hand, fully loaded, Zach skeletal, slate reflector, Anastasia sniper. And again, there are going to be time steps in the video for your convenience. NZ 71 right here. We got the recoil booster, hand stop. We got the Sakura 45 round. We got lengthened, stippled grip, frenzy. Frenzy is a pretty awesome program efficiency right here health regeneration after kills and this is going to be amazing when you're going on streaks and remember the nz41 has an amazing ttk so it's just going to go hand in hand so we got the orb weaver elite slate reflector and ravenwood 480 millimeters so that's about it as far as my top five that i would definitely recommend to you guys again like i said this is just a general overview so you guys get an understanding of the baseline of where these assault rifles stack up against each other but if you guys did find today's video informational or enjoyable a like is definitely appreciated and make sure to subscribe if you're brand new around here to make your way back to the channel join Turbo Nation today make it official and i'll see you guys in the next one the automation 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 yo if you guys are always on your computer all day or you like to game for long sessions definitely check out gameradvantage.com for these blue light blocking glasses quite literally the best blue light glasses that you can ever find on the market. Make sure to check out GamerAdvantage.com and just learn more about it, man. There's so many benefits to keeping your eyes nice and healthy. You won't feel that strain at the end of the day and you'll go to sleep like a baby at the end of the day and that's the best part. You won't feel tired at all. Definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com. Use code TURBO at checkout.